brother. They don't seem too worried. You see that rock over there? You climb up there and I'll flush them out. And we'll see how worried they are then. All right, let's take that wagon.
Kanji! The whole damn tribe! Let's get the hell out of here! Andale! Get on the wagon and grab that Gatling gun! They stopped. The hell, why aren't they chasing us? Look around, amigo. Weeping rock. See, si, amigo. This is Apache territory. Those Comanche don't need another enemy. No, amigo. I think your god is watching over us. We made it through Comanche territory, and yet we still have our scalps. Of course he's watching over us. He loves us. All of us. Even you. There are no evil men. Only evil deeds. Evil depends on your point of view. The savages here see us as white devils. Yet, because we bring them rifles, they welcome us with open arms. Friends! Easy! Sing farther! Tell your brothers we are not enemies! We have your weapons! Your rifles! There will be no deal, Snake Tongue! You tried to trick us! This weapon does not work! One rifle! One of three hundred! None of them work! No! This isn't necessary! Kaki Ho! Kill them all! No, father! This is the young shaman who warned me of their treachery! That little bastard. Father, please. The young shaman is my friend. He betrayed his own kind to protect our people. And for this, what should his reward be? Their lives. Please, spare their lives. The young shaman's heart is so big it covers his eyes. But as he's seeing father's friend, I will do as he wishes. The great Apache war chief, Running River, spares your lives. Leave our land. We will take your horses, your weapons, and your wagons as ransom. And the woman. What? Running River wants your woman. Juan. As you're the only one Juan. who knew of the rifles. No. You're the only one who could have betrayed Juan. me. Take her, beat her, enjoy her, for she is a lying whore, and that is all she is good for. The young shaman and his kin can stay in our camp and rest their horses, but they should not expect a warm welcome.
hounded by the army and pushed from their traditional lands, the Apaches hid out in the high mountains of northern Arizona and scratched out a meager existence. They naturally distrusted us whites. Our brother's cold and angry dispositions didn't help any. Ray didn't like the way the young braves looked at Marissa. He was restless and on edge, and I was afraid that at any moment he might blow. I wanted to go before there was bloodshed, but seeing Farther wanted to speak to us alone. About what, I wasn't sure, but I suspected that none of it would come to any good. I know why you're here, and what you want. The medallion. I can help you. Why would you want to help us get the medallion? My father wants to use it to buy weapons for a war against the White Eyes. What will the fate of our people be if he succeeds? The Apache will be no more. So you just gonna go fetch it for us? No. But I will show you where it is. You don't have the medallion here? The medallion is cursed. As I have told you before, our ancestors took it from a Mexican priest in return for his life. Soon after, a great sickness ravaged our village. Many died. One of the survivors traded it to the Navajo for food, and the Navajo too were ravaged by sickness. Their medicine man saw that the medallion had dark power. He drowned it in a lake high in the mountains. His people guard it to this day. So, Running River was trading a medallion he didn't even have? He intended to show you its resting place. He hoped it would bring bad medicine to you as well. And in the process, bring hell down on the Navajo? We are sworn enemies. <laughs> well, that's pretty cagey. Two dead enemies for the price of one. How do we know you're not sending us to die in those mountains, too? Because I am going with you. For without my help, you would not find it. Partner, I hope you're not bullshitting us. Because if this is some lying Apache trick, it'll be the last one you ever pull. I hate boats. I hate water. Would you stop your whining? Jesus. The fact you hate water is pretty damn obvious. You smell like the inside of an old...